Home prices in South Florida are absolutely skyrocketing, which is causing more and more people to look for homes in Boynton Beach, Florida. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about exactly how much $650,000 gets you in a home in Boynton Beach, Florida. All that and a whole lot more, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph McFarlane. I'm the broker owner of Reform Realty, South Florida Homes and Luxury Estates. And as much as I love to make these videos, I would love it even more to be able to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. So the information that you see popping up below is my direct contact information. I'm the actual person who's going to be answering your calls, responding to your texts and to your emails. Never hesitate to reach out and ask if you ever have any questions specific to the content I'm creating on this channel or anything that's real estate related. It's my pleasure to be of service to you. I'm getting dozens of phone calls throughout the week from people all over the world who are interested in moving to sunny South Florida. And I love hearing from you. If you love the content, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you can be first to be notified about whenever I drop brand new content on a weekly basis. Don't forget to share this video with a friend or family member. We love to keep you entertained, engaged, and educated. Today, we're talking about homes in Boynton Beach, Florida. How much exactly $650,000 can get you in Boynton Beach? Now, it's important that you know how I came up with that number. And we're gonna jump into the computer system today and I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know in terms of data and search statistics, as well as going out to the street and actually seeing these properties in person. So the first thing I wanna show you is exactly how we came up with the number $650,000. We did not just pull it out of the thin air. How did we arrive to that conclusion? I'm gonna show you right now. When we go into our Florida MLS, I have the ability to research last year's sale numbers versus this year's sales numbers. And there was follows. If you see here, we're going to go into Boynton Beach. Last year, 2021, the average sales price in Boynton Beach, Florida was $427,000. And this year, there's a 49% increase in sales price to $636,000. That's insane. That's a $210,000 increase over the period of 12 months in home sale prices in Boynton Beach, Florida. How could that be? Pretty simple. If you look at the same data statistics in Boca Raton, those prices have jumped from about 650 to over a million dollars. So naturally, people who are shopping within a particular budget and price point are going to start looking for surrounding areas close to Boca Raton, Florida. In this case, many people have sought after Boynton Beach, Florida, which is a wonderful suburb of West Palm Beach. But as you can see, the major contribution to the jump in pricing is due to the extremely high demand and very low inventory. For today's example, we're going to work with whole round numbers. And in this case, we're going to round up from 636,000 up to 650,000. And that's how we're going to price our search criteria for the MLS. So what I'm doing is I'm searching Boynton Beach, the city. We're looking for active listings. We're also looking for listings that are coming soon as well. List price. Let's go ahead and put it up there at 650,000. And just to compare apples to apples, I'm going to put a spread 600,000 to 650,000, which gives us a $50,000 spread. As you can see the results, there are 18 listings in total with the current criteria. Let's narrow it down. I'm looking for single family homes that are three bedrooms or more. I'm looking for homes that have two full bathrooms or more. And I'm also looking for homes that are not 55 plus communities. I want all age communities. As you can see, our search criteria has went from 18 homes in inventory all the way down to seven homes in inventory. Pretty low, but also very expected in the current market conditions with inventory being at an all time low in South Florida as of the date of the making of this video. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is not located inside of a country club because a lot of times country clubs can throw off people's home searches. So we're going to go ahead and do membership fee and we're going to select no. I'm going to go ahead and stack them in order of most expensive to least expensive. In this case, the most expensive is $650,000 and the least expensive has an asking price of $600,000. See if we can separate some of the better looking properties from the ones that are less desirable. Of the seven homes, I put three on our list. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to schedule real time showing on all three of these properties and I'm going to show them to you in person and through the eyes of a real estate professional, I hope to show you and educate you on some details specific to South Florida real estate. We are checking out of Reform Realty headquarters and we're going to jump in the car. Looks like it may have rained earlier. The sun is out now. So that's great news for us. Let's go to Boynton Beach. 
Okay guys, so we're at the first location here in Boynton Beach, Florida. One of the first things I look for is the condition of the neighbor's roof. What type of cars are parked in the driveway? Are the windows all original? Are they falling apart? Do the neighbors take care of their lawn? Is there trash left out on the street? Things like that. You want to make a full assessment of what the neighbor's properties look like. It could give you a good idea of what the neighborhood is like. Also, what's this building right here? That looks like it might be a daycare. Daycare, not a bad thing. That's a good thing. It looks really good from the outside. It also looks good on the inside. I think that whoever ends up owning this property is gonna be a very happy family. Milky white interlayer, privacy, security glass, hurricane impact windows and doors. That door goes into the garage. This is the front door here. They have this exact same type of glass. AC is blowing super cold. This is sunny South Florida, so it's very important that you have nice cold AC. I noticed that this door right here leads directly into the garage. This is not an impact window, and it doesn't have to be simply because it's not an exterior door. However, I do know that there are rules on how the door should be made to separate the garage from the rest of the house because of fumes like carbon dioxide and things like that, if there's a running vehicle, etc. I did mention that this was a one car garage because the width of the garage door only fits one car. Brand new hot water heater that's a commercial size kitchen. Modern feel, hurricane impacted windows and doors throughout, stainless steel appliances. They went ahead with those modern interior doors. Right there is where your TV would be hung. Over here is where your couch would go. Massive impact window right in the front yard, letting all that nice natural light shine through. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen first. We're standing right here. We're looking right at it. So right around the corner here is where you probably put dining room table, breakfast nook, something like that. Oh, look what I found. Let's look at that right there. This is dry wall that's been cut away from the bottom of the windowsill. Not a problem. They probably just need to fit the windowsill in. They have yet to spackle, sand, and paint. Hurricane impact sliding glass doors leading out to a patio, which is covered in with the lanai. I did speak with the listing agent. The contractor is still doing his work. He's going to be replacing those windows, as you can see right in front. We have ESW. That is a high quality hurricane impact window. This is a GE right there, GE General Electric. Electrical panel, so you're gonna be okay with that. Back into the kitchen again. The island has storage here on this side. It would be cool if they have storage on the other side too. I wonder if they do, we'll take a look at that in a second. So again, very modern kitchen concept. Cabinets are well lit. They don't have storage here, but they do have a spot where they put the bar stools. Notice that they have this baseboard around the entire house. Brand new baseboard, hurricane impact, pass through windows, horizontal roller, stainless steel, deep culinary chef sink with chrome hardware. And also the hardware on the cabinetry is a chrome as well. So this is gonna be the guest rooms. So to the right, uh, I believe is like a linen closet. Right in front of us is guest room number one. To the left is guest room number two. Let's start with number two, because we're gonna go clockwise. Nice big closet. Again. Horizontal rollers, impact windows, one and two. Popcorn has been removed, LED lighting, tile floors, baseboards, everything painted throughout. The guest room number two, there's three bedrooms all together. We're gonna leave the master bedroom for last. Here's the bathroom, we got dual sinks, that's important. Look how skinny that door looks. Leads right out to the patio. That is probably the skinniest door I've ever seen. It's pretty funny, actually. I don't think I've ever seen the door that skinny. Let's go and shoot over to the master bedroom. Master bedroom, obviously, is larger in size. Here we go. Horizontal roller, horizontal roller. Closet here. There is a privacy hurricane impact French door that leads out to the patio. And we have the grand master bathroom suite. Again, whoever ends up purchasing this home is actually gonna have a nice little home here. Oversized Roman tub. Very, very sexy. Toilets, dual sinks. It's floating, look. LED lighting fixture. Shower's pretty sexy too. It's got the rain head up top. It's got the shelf you pull your stuff on. The fixture's on the right. And in the bottom here is the dream. Pretty cool. I imagine they're gonna put a frameless shower door here. Maybe. Or they're gonna leave it all open. So now we're heading out to the patio. My first impression driving down the street was that the neighborhood was dated. Not bad, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It was okay, it looked okay to me. But this house, the renovation looks pretty good and I think it's gonna be a great home for whoever owns it next. These are hurricane shutters. See, they pull down. This one's been pulled all the way down. So you can see. So whenever the storm comes in, you just pull it up, you pull it down. So one of the negatives about the backyard I've noticed is these power lines. See how they come across the back and also they come across from the corner all the way over to the corner of the house here. That's just what they do on some of the older houses here in Florida. In some of the newer neighborhoods, the power lines are buried underground and they have a very old fence. That old fence right there would look great if they installed a brand new privacy fence around the perimeter of the property and went ahead and redid some of the landscaping. I see something. 
That is a dead iguana. Iguanas are extremely common in Florida. We see them all the time. That's the first time I think I've seen a dead one. Nice backyard, good foliage, great potential for a pool. I like this house. I think it's gonna be a good house. I don't like the price, however. Do not like the price for the square footage. I don't like the price for the neighborhood, but overall, I do think it's gonna make a good home for whoever who's gonna be here next. What do you think about this house? Leave a comment below telling me what you think. Is it really worth what they're asking for it? The square footage, the renovations, the location, the neighborhood? Tell me below. I'm interested to know what you think. And if you haven't already, go ahead and take this opportunity right Right now to click the subscribe button below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can be first to be notified whenever we drop brand new content of what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. Let's go check out the second house. So we are approaching house number two, which is in the Sun Valley neighborhood. Already, this feels a lot nicer than the last neighborhood we just came from. And of course, it will because it's a newer neighborhood and it likely has a higher HOA fee. And so because of that, naturally, this neighborhood will be better kept. Okay, friends, so check it out. The exterior looks really nice. Again, landscape is well kept. The front of the house, the curb appeal looks very good. These homes look much better manicured, better kept, better looking neighborhood. I mean, the house is actually a pretty decent looking house. Again, I just wanted to point out the landscaping is really nice and that's not inexpensive. Really does add to the curb appeal. I love to point that out. Open format, kitchen on the left, formal dining room on the left, den right in front of us, opens right up into the patio to the pool, looks straight out past the pool. You have a lake view, totally awesome. Straight ahead is the master bedroom, master bathroom, which is right off the pool deck. And then over to the right are the two guest rooms. So over here, as you can see, we have our formal dining area, vaulted ceiling, nice and high. I think whoever comes in here and they choose to change the paint would be doing a great thing for this property. Tremendous facelift for the property. Those are original non-impact windows. Two car garage goes right out that door right there. And pantry, stainless steel appliances. Kitchen is good. Nice size bar, which opens up to that open format that everybody always wants. Gigantic entertainment built-ins. Those need to be removed. I mean, at one time, they were beautiful at one time they were in style but they're just not in style anymore let's go to the pool deck area because it is so cool out here man nice tv on the deck hurricane shutters on the sliding glass doors neighbor has privacy fence it's a newer pool deck this is not the original pool deck this was redone the pool looks beautiful the view looks very good it is a premium view it is not an ultra premium view but it is a premium view they definitely paid more money for this service area on the side of the house i noticed they have an irrigation system it's very dated it's very rusty however the irrigation system is pulling water from the lake and probably pumping the lake water out through the sprinkler heads, which means that your water bill should be substantially lower. Privacy fence for the neighbors so they're not looking at you. And what's going on over here? Looks like that they were gonna put something here. If I had to guess, I don't know. If I had to guess, maybe a hot tub. It's a concrete slab, brand new AC unit over here, more utility space. I don't know. I don't know what they were doing over here. That may have been purpose for a hot tub. Hot tub is a phenomenal idea in South Florida. So right off of the pool deck is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has their own sliding glass door, which goes right in. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Decent size for the master bedroom. When you look at new construction, we're noticing that master bedrooms are being built smaller. The reason why is because they're making more space for larger bathrooms, larger larger closets and larger common area space. So bathroom is small, single sink, toilet, stand in, shower. It looks like this sink fixture was replaced recently and walk-in closet, pretty basic. I prefer this house over the one we just saw. Location, 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 location. Say it over and over and over again, three times fast. You can always change the kitchens. You can always change the bathrooms. You can never change the location. This has the superior location. So I would encourage somebody to pick this home over the one that we just saw. You can always change the kitchens and the bathrooms and the floors and the paint and the windows and all these other things. Let's take one last look at this awesome view of the backyard. Super cool. So I just received a message from the third property. It already went under contract. How much? I don't know, but it's no longer available. And with that, tell me what you think about this property as it compares to the first property that you saw. Do you prefer this one or do you prefer the other one? How come and how much do you think these properties should be valued at? Are they overpriced or do you think they're going to sell more than what they're asking for? Be sure to stay tuned in for more of my videos where I revisit these properties and how much they sold for in the very near future. Don't forget to share this video with a friend or a family member if you found it to be interesting, educational, engaging, and entertaining. Until next time, many blessings.